हेलो डे स्टूडेंट्स आई एम शिव कुमार एस लद्दी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फार्मेकोलॉजी शिवलिंगेश्वर कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी अलमला टुडे वी लर्न रिगार्डिंग बायोसी ऑफ स्टामाइन हिस्टामाइन इज ए अमाइन डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम हिस्टेडिन बाय एंजाइमेटिक डीकार्बोजिलेशन ऑफ हिस्टेडिन Histamine is a powerful stimulant of gastric secretions, a constrictor of bronchial smooth muscle, as well as vasodilators of small blood vessels, and also centrally acting neurotransmitters. So, the biopsy of histamine can be done by recording the contractions of isolated guinea pig ilum and blood pressure fall in anesthetized cat or dog. So, dear students, so here the histamine is formed from the histidine in the presence of decarboxylase, and it is metabolized where it can be religious. So, in the presence of two enzymes, that is diamine oxidase and N-methyl transferase. So, regarding mechanism, so histamine it mainly acts through a receptors, and receptors are known as histamine receptors. So histamine receptors, so they are mainly classified into four types: H1, S2, S3, H4. So H1 found in smooth muscles, endothelium, brain, and mechanism is. So histamine bind on H1, it can increase the IP3 and DHA. So due to increase IP3 and diacylglycerol, the calciums can be accumulated. So accumulated calcium is responsible for to cause the smooth muscle contractions. Dilatations, that is contractions of endothelium, and produces excitations in the CNS. So regarding H2, it is found in gastric mucosa, cardiac muscles, muscle cells, and brain. So histamine binds to H2 receptor, and it can enhance the formations of cyclic AMP. Once again, cyclic AMP is responsible for regulations of the calcium. So that accumulated calcium. Is responsible for to increase the secretions from the gastric mucosa. In cardiac muscle, it can enhance the conductions of velocity, and also it can cause the contactility. So, its muscle cells it can stable uh, it can stimulate the muscle cells to release the further histamines and other autocrats like prostaglandin, angiotensins, and leukotrienes. So, histamine through S three. Receptors it can inhibit the formations of cyclic AMP, so that is responsible for for to decrease the calcium concentrations. So it can inhibit the presynaptic transmissions and myocentric flexors and other neurons. So H four receptors, so they are mainly found in eosinophil and muscle cells. So here the histamine bind on H4 receptor, it can stimulate the activity of phospholipid C. So phospholipid C is an membrane enzyme. It is required for the formations of IP3 and diacylglycerol from the inositol monophosphate. So then it can cause the stimulations of eosinophil and initiate the release of local hormones or antigens and initiate the hypersensitivity reactions. Or allergy in muscle cells. Once again, it can release the various load local hormones. So, the aim of this practical is to study the biopsy of histamine using guinea pig ileum by matching biopsy method. So, regarding requirements, so here we use instruments like thermostatically controlled organ bath, chymograph. Aerator, tuberculin syringe, thermometer, stopwatch, dissecting instrument, beaker and pipettes and ATC. So regarding physiological solutions, so tired solution is required to conduct the bioassay of histamine. So conditions like required temperature is thirty-seven degrees centigrade, similar to the animal body. Animals here used is a guinea pig. Then drugs like standard histamine solutions, ten microgram per ml. 
So standard solutions of histamine was prepared by, by taking 10 mg of histamine is dissolved in 10 ml of water it becomes 1000 microgram per ml from which take 0.1 ml and dilute with 10 ml of water then final volume becomes 10 microgram per ml it is used as the standard stock solutions of histamine so regarding principle so in this method first you record the responses of test at least two responses and it can match with the standard responses in increasing dose so standard responses are recorded up to any one of the response is match with the any one of the test sample so when the exactly matches it can stop the further recording the responses due to administrations of the standard drugs so concentrations of test sample can be determined by by using the following formula unknown concentration is equal to dose of standard and dose of test so which dose so they are matches so those doses are taken in ml into a concentrations of standard so regarding procedure isolate the guinea pig elum as similar to isolations of rat elum in experiment number 6 so this is the isolated guinea pig elum it can isolate it from the guinea pig so this is washing up the guinea pig by keeping in the tissue organ bath for 30 minutes okay you take the small part of so these are the conditions required for to conduct the practicals on the guinea pig elum then set up the student organ bath as described in experiment number 5 and the temperature of student organs should be maintained about 37 degrees centigrade with the help of the thermostats and heater so after washing period for 30 minutes record two responses of different dose of histamine test solutions so first record baseline without any drug so after baseline add a 0.1 ml of histamine test solutions and record the responses due to additions of 0.1 ml of histamine test solution for 30 second after 30 seconds stop the drum and change the tired solution so all the drug is removed from the tired solution then tissue become the relaxations it can came to its original portion so after washing period so once again record the baseline for 30 second then after 30 second add 0.2 ml of histamine test solutions and record the responses due to additions of 0.2 ml of histamine test solutions for 30 seconds after 30 seconds stop the drum and change the ringer solutions at least two to three times then it become the original positions so after recording the two responses of test histamine solutions and record the responses of different dose of standard histamine solution in increasing order until any one response of test drug solution matches with the standard drug solution responses using at least four doses within four doses if it is dot match mean then increase the concentrations of the standard so first record the baseline for 30 second after that add 0.1 ml of standard histamine solution that is 10 microgram per ml and record the responses due to additions of 0.1 ml of histamine standard solution for 30 second 
after 30 seconds wash the tissues then after washing period once again record the baseline for 30 seconds after 30 seconds add 0.2 ml of standard histamine solution then record the responses due to additions of 0.2 ml of standard histamine solution for 30 seconds after 30 seconds stop the drum then change the ringer solutions then after washing period once again record the baseline then add 0.4 ml of standard histamine solution then record responses due to additions of 0.4 ml standard histamine solutions for 30 seconds so after 30 seconds stop the drum and change the ringer solutions at least two to three times to completely remove the drug from the solution so after washing period once again record the baseline then add 0.8 ml of standard histamine solution then record responses due to additions of 0.8 ml of standard histamine solutions for 30 seconds after 30 seconds stop the drum and change the ringer solutions then once again record the baseline so this is the standard histamine solution 10 microgram per ml responses so after this measure the height of the responses in mm so first 0.1 ml of test solutions responses is about 17 mm and 0.2 ml of test system solutions response is 34 mm and regarding standard 0.1 that is 10 mm 0.2 standard solution that is 24 and 0.4 that is 34 and 0.8 that is 58 so here the 0.2 ml of test histamine solution responses is matches with the 0.4 ml of standard histamine solutions then the matching bias is over then observation table so that is you calculate the dose of histamine microgram like by using the following formula 1 ml of stock solution of histamine solution contains 1 microgram then 0.1 ml is how much that is 1 microgram and then 0.2 2 microgram 0.4 4 microgram 0 0.8 8 microgram so here 0 0.2 test responses is matched with the 0.4 ml of standard responses then the responses of 0.2 ml of test histamine solution is matches with the responses of 0.4 ml standard histamine solutions hence the concentrations of unknown histamine solution is calculated by dose of standard divided by dose of test into concentrations of standard here the dose of standard is 0.4 ml divided by dose of test is 0.2 into concentration of standard is 10 microgram per ml finally we can got the 20 microgram per ml hence the concentrations of test system solution is 20 microgram per ml so this is helpful for the formulations or to know the strength of the new prepared histamine solution so these are the references we are used to prepare this practicals so all the data are taken for demo purpose only so these data do not have any relation to real research data thank you